PRISM is a secret government program that allows the National Security Agency to tap into the data banks of Internet companies in search of foreign terrorists. Slides from a top-secret briefing detailing how the program works were obtained by the Washington Post. They list the companies, including Microsoft, Google, and Apple, and the data they provide, everything from emails to chat rooms to videos. Under a court order which compels the companies to cooperate, analysts working at computers in NSA headquarters at Fort Meade, Maryland, key in search terms designed to turn up suspicious Internet communications among foreigners. The targets are overseas, but since much of the world's Internet traffic flows through the U.S., the monitoring takes place on American soil. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper said PRISM cannot be used to intentionally target any U.S. citizen. But the key word is intentionally. Since, as everybody has experienced, you can get caught up in email chains that have nothing to do with you. The amount of data PRISM and other monitoring programs pick up, trillions of communications each year, is so vast NSA is building this sprawling $2 billion facility in Utah just to store it all. But PRISM also scooped up at least one major terrorist, Najibullah Zazi. Without PRISM, Zazi might have pulled off a 2009 plot to plant backpack bombs on New York City subways. As he was mixing the explosives, he sent this email to al-Qaeda bomb maker Rashid Raouf in Pakistan saying he didn't know the right amounts to use and giving his phone number, intelligence that eventually led to his arrest. All the Internet companies involved deny giving the government unlimited access to their users' accounts and insist they only turn over information in response to court orders. David, thank you.